everyone, I'm Ismaila Omeza M. Welcome to Data Audition. Uh, today I'm going to be taking you to know what customer retention is all about. It's just an introduction. In my next tutorial, we're going to be diving deep into what it is, how we can actually solve the problem, how we can actually get to know who are those customers that had not been buying over time. Now, first of all, the question is this, what is customer retention? Customer retention is a process of a, of, of a company to actually dive in into analytic to know who are those customers that haven't been buying all day and what it should do to actually return them back to on board to start buying from them you understand so let's say you sign up for Jumia, Congo or AliExpress and for like three months you've not been buying from them and the analyst is like okay you know what let us try to see who are those customers that have not been patronizing our website to buy and all of that now the analyst is going to use this customer retention idea to just get everybody who had not been buying from them so now if you look at here we have new customer sales and old customer by date now if you look at this we have this to be what we have a new customer sales how much the person actually purchased and we have the date then we have the old customer known then when we keep moving we're going to be having the old customer to have some numbers then like that and here is going to be giving us the numbers of people that actually signed into our website and purchased here I can't give you either purchase or not but this person actually signed into the website or this person came into the store you understand now you see we keep having it, it let's keep changing and the number as well keep changing to the customer that we have in the store that very day so now when we come right here we have the f best eight customers we have and how many times they've actually purchased from us 13 good times this person has actually purchased uh, 13 good times as well this person nine good times while well, this person purchased 13 good times you see that 10 good times and we have our sales rep this is the sales rep that is actually helping us to sell if I drill down to what to Bob so what am I gonna see I'm gonna see something different now before it loads let's see what this one is all about we have repeated sales this repeated sales is not actually money no what this is that this is how many times our customers repeated buying from us repeated their purchase coming to our stereo actually logging into our website to make purchase this how many times they've actually done that now if you look at here what actually happened right here is that we have a customer name and we have a, a last purchase date so now what is going on here what is actually going on here is that we want to know how many days this customer has not been buying from us now we have it to be what 35 days we have this customer to be 28 days 43 days 43 40 days 32 days and 23 days and we have this customer as well to be 115 days he had not been purchasing from us now what do you do you send this to what to the or marketing department to remark it to these people to repeat to these people to actually come back and back because we have new offer now let's see for we to know the reality of the number we're gonna check this very 2014 so we're gonna have high number so what you have to calculate from this 20 uh, 14 is the range between this 2014 and 2017 so what we just checked that is giving us 20 something days and 40 something days is just 20 or uh, 17 so right now we're going three years back now we have high numbers we have over 1000 days can you see this can you see this over 1000 days that those customers have not been purchased from us but if you have to base your customer uh, retention if you have to do your customer retention i think we should do it on the current year or we can actually do it on 2016 then we try to acquire them back then how many times those the credit customer did all the customer uh, did the calculation of the whole customer that we have how many times they came into the store or log into our website to buy this is calculating it and here is it each customer this customer for 365 days we've not seen him to come by 393 days this customer had not been buying from us so this is all about it so what i'm about what i'm i'm going to do is for me to show you how i did this in my next tutorial this is just an introduction to this very uh, cause 
are called uh, customer retention so we're going to be doing this in the details so all you just got to do is for you to subscribe to my channel because i'm going to be dropping the video very soon just to break it down uh, for you guys to know how this works and how you could always use this to actually make more sales bring more customers so here is the dax uh, function that is actually making all this to happen just this is actually for the new customers so i'm going to be making this afresh then you're going to know, get to know what it is that uh, is happening right here so thank you very much for watching if you've not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel because i'm going to be dropping a video that's going to explain all this to you guys in no time thank you for watching i appreciate it